uh, I'm ready to trim the aroma I met yesterday. Uh, normally when I trim, I don't usually like to trim on the bed, but this is my new bed system. But uh, I would like to uh, give it a test, see if uh, it's better than uh, trim it on the wooden bed or some kind of a plastic bag. Sometimes it works. This one stays very flat. Um, it's made of a, a very strong plastic, fiberglass reinforced plastic, or you can call FRP. Okay, FRP. It's very dense. And I'm going to just use the water to hold it. Okay, looks like stay very good, very well on this FRP pack. Uh, I'm going to use my look tool because this piece of clay is a little bit on the uh, damp side, a little bit wet, so the look tool could go through the wet clay a little bit easier than the L shaped tool. And most of the time, if you want to avoid the unwanted chattering mark, your finger needs to uh, brace together, you know, maybe hold it to the head of uh, the loop so that it doesn't bounce, doesn't, doesn't vibrate. And in the middle, I usually just take hold the tool this is my square shape loop tool, square shape carbide loop tool. I was hold it like an angle here and then dig in while the wheel spinning and then take it toward the center. And then you're gonna make sure that you brace your tool so that the clay doesn't drag your tool. Right, I think this sounds right. And then um, I always compare the inner part and the outside part, so the outside could be lower. Make the foot a little bit smaller, so the piece looks more elegant, lighter and elegant. But still, you want to find the balance of the foot, so it's still very stable. Right, and then um, I will bring my number two. You can use either my stainless number two, stainless steel number two, or tungsten carbide number two. Okay. So I want to do is you get to use the square. So you will get the corner a bit better. And I like the uh, little bit sharp corner. So that's why I use usually the very final stage. I will bring out the uh, good 90 degrees to take care of the corner. And do a little undercut here using the corner of my number two. So when I'm glazing here, I'm holding usually my fingers holding here. So when I dip it in the glaze, the little little gap here or little groove there, it's helping the to stop the glaze from going over to the all the way to the foot. And then I am going to introduce my other kind of tool. This is a new one in production. It's made of uh, 
stainless steel, but it's a different stainless steel that you could uh, harden it. Okay, it's a little bit high carbon content, so it's hardenable. Okay, you can harden it, so it will hold the edge a bit better than my regular stainless steel. And uh, I put it on wooden handle here. And again, there are there will be five different shapes from number two to number six. And this one is my number five. This one I'm using is my number five. And I like to use my number five, either number five or number six to take care of a little curve. When I make it the wrong mark, this part here has a little curve. So this number five, let me wash it. So you see that there's a little curve here, so the curve could uh, take care of that part here. So that's why for making this kind of mug, I usually use my number five trimming tool. So I'm using the curb to trim tool here and then I'm connecting use the other side, the straight side of the two or two connected. So this part here is a little bit more smooth. And then turn it into the straight side. Now you can trim from the part and then take it up. Move the tool this way, all the way to to the foot. Okay, and if you want this part here uh, slightly curved, you can also use the curved side here. So you use that. Making it a little curve. On the foot. And level the level the foot. Okay, so use the uh, shiny rock to burnish the foot. Okay, so the use number five to take care of this curve here. Um, this back. New back. Very dense, very dense, and uh, stay very flat too. And uh, it's not easy to warp, and uh, not easy to get uh, swell like a wood. Um, this will last long, long time. It's in develop. Okay, this one. Stay tuned. And also this tool that in develop so the new two type of uh, tools coming all right so see you next time.